Ready. Darren Swenson, Larry Berlin getting you set for the Cora and O-line. Vikings coming in averaging 59 points a game, shooting 39% from the field, 31% from three-point range, and 59% from the free throw line. O-line averaging just 35.8 points a game, 43% from the field, 32% from three-point range, and 60% from the free throw line. Uh, the Decora Vikings, this is their final uh, game for seeding purposes for the district play, but the district in Class 3A pretty much has already been determined. Uh, Waverly Show Rock's going to be the top seed in the district. Crestwood's going to be the second seed. Decorah is going to be the third seed. And Carroll City is going to be the fourth seed. So that means that Decorah will play Crestwood first round of the tournament. It'll be official in a week, but you heard it here first. Do we need a breaking news sounder on that or anything, uh, Larry? Well, no. I, you're the newsman. I, you know everything. You're probably a skater. I, everything. And how many times have we had that Cresco Decora matchup before? You know, it just seems like that's kind of where we've settled in. And it's going to be a good ball game this year. It's going to be a barn burner. And we're getting you set for Decora and Owine here tonight. Uh, definitely a different look uh, to postseason basketball. Owine now a 2A uh, school and uh, walk on now a 2A school as well. And the times they are changing, Coach B. Well, and again, it's getting more and more difficult to find people to play that are in your category as far as uh, population, school population. So, Just ask the new football team yeah. next year. Yeah. Dap will be between Schindler and Rex. Owine to our right and Decora to our left here in the first half. The ball is in the air. The tap is controlled by Decora. Nick Bachman will walk it to the front court to our left. And Owine coming out, it looks like perhaps in a box and one ball deflected, taken away by Rex. Rex passes on the near right wing to Evan Suko, who dribbles to the top of the key, passes on the far side to Dylan Arndt. Arndt driving to the left baseline, now stops left of the lane. Mounts pass in the left corner to Tony Rex, and Rex will retreat on the dribble to the midcourt area. Rex picks up his dribble, guarded closely by Schindler, passes on the right side to Suko. Suko goes in the right corner to Dylan Arndt. Arndt underneath, ball taken away by Schindler, who saves it into Bachman for Decora. Left side to Hosting. Hosting pull up jumper, 18 footer in and out. Rebound, Schindler puts it up and in, and the Vikes get the first pickle out of the jar. And that's a good look right there by Schindler. Good job. 2 0 Decora, 50 seconds in. Owain breaks the fresh with Hayful. Back between the circles to Evan Suko. He's going to take a three-pointer left to the lane. No good. Rebound pulled down by Hosting for Decora. Now to Bachman. Bachman up into the front court. Passes on the left side to Stock. Stock on the drive. Finger roll. No good, but he traveled beforehand. Yeah. yeah. So two turnovers and three trips for Decora. 2-0 Decora. Minute and a five in. Noel Rettinger in the backcourt. Leaves it for Evan Suko. Passes across the timeline to Tony Rex. Down the center circle to Noah Rettinger. Rettinger driving left in the lane, drives all the way to the block, puts up the shot three times off the back iron and out. Rebound pulled down by Rockweiler. Out of Bachman, who bobbled it and got it back. Passes on the far right wing to Hosting. Skips it over to Loudon Rockweiler on the left wing. Left corner to Nick Bachman. Bachman back between the circles to Hosting. Hosting on the left side of Bachman. Bachman left corner to Loudon Rockweiler. Rockweiler left of the key to Bachman, right of the circle to Stock. Stock, a bounce pass in the right corner to Hosting. Hosting to Stock, right of the circle, outside the arc, right side. Left side to La Rockweiler. Left corner to Bachman. Left of the circle to Rockweiler. Rockweiler holding and looking. Jab step, goes right side to Hosting. Takes the dribble, passes on the near left wing to Bachman. Bachman takes the dribble, goes left corner to Rockweiler. Rockweiler takes the dribble, back between the circles to Bachman. Passes on the far right side to Hosting. Hosting in the right corner to Stock. Stock high on the right to Bachman. Top of key to Hosting, left side to Rockweiler. Rockweiler around a screen to the right side, leaves it right of the circle to Stock. He'll take a three-pointer, it's no good. Rebound to the side, Rockweiler saves it in to Bachman. Bachman lobs it towards Hosting, but too tall and out of bounds. 2.28 into the game, 2-0 to Cora. To say that that 1-2-2 two, two, that uh, zone that they put up against us is bothering us would be an understatement, Darren. Aren't. To Rex passing across the timeline on the right near side to Rettinger. He dribbles through a double team. He lost control of the dribble and a tie up between Rettinger and Schindler. Alternating possession will go to Owine. 
Huskies will play it baseline right, front court to our right. 5-19 to play in the first quarter, a 2-0 lead for Decora. Arndt right of the circle, bounce pass in the right corner to Suko. Suko retreats on the dribble to the midcourt area, guarded by Hosting, passes on the near right wing to Tony Rex. Rex will take a couple of dribbles to the right of the circle area, kicks it at the free throw line to Hafel. Hafel right of the lane to Rentinger, a 17-footer is no good. Weak side forward to Rockweiler for Decora, now to Bachman. Bachman in transition. Pierce to the right side of the floor to Hostin. Back to Bachman. Errant pass ran down by Bachman in the midcourt area. Bounce pass outside the arc right side to Hostin. Left side to Bachman. Bachman left corner to Rockweather. Top of the key to Stock. Stock on the drive right of the lane. Gets all the way to the block. Puts it up and in. Stock with the bucket. It's 4 0 to Cora. 4 to play first quarter. That's how you beat a zone, Darren. You dribble right through it. Arndt dribbles up into the front court. Arndt driving all the way down. Lobs it along the left baseline towards Hafel. Lost control of it. Owine tried to save it in, but did so right to Hosting. Now to Bachman. Ahead to Hosting in the front court to our left. Back between the circles to Bachman. Lobs underneath the Schindler. Went up. Had his shot blocked by Hafel and pulled down by Suko for the Huskies. Suko up the left side of the floor. Suko driving left baseline. Guarded by Hosting. Goes to the left wing. And Tony Rex. Rex guarded by Schindler, retreating to the midcourt area, and a hand check foul called on Schindler outside the arc. Schindler picks up the game's first foul with 3.59 to play in the first quarter, a 4 0 lead for Decora. Hayful out and Dom Robbins Robertson in for a one. Yeah, and Schindler found himself out about 30 feet from the basket there. I think I would stay underneath, make him shoot over the top there. Suko. Right of the lane to Rettinger, takes a three-pointer and buries it. Well, Rettinger with the three, it's a 4-3 lead for Decora. 3.42 to play here in the first quarter. Rockweiler up in the front court, pull up jumper left side. Off the front rim, rebound pulled down by Robertson for Owine. Robertson up in the front court. Right corner to Rettinger. Rettinger driving baseline, gets to the block, put up the shot. It falls out, rebound out Rockweiler. Now to Bachman, quickly head to Stock. Stock plays it up and in. Bikes score in transition, stock with four. 6-3 to Cora, 3-17 to play first quarter. Across the timeline, Suko's pass taken away by a stock for the Cora. Now to Bachman to Schindler. His pass, or the pass, was behind him, and Rettinger takes it for a one. Yeah, they got a hand on it there. Should have been a bounce pass there, Darren. Arndt on the left side to Suko. Suko underneath to Robertson. He went up and got fouled by Hosting. Second foul on Decora, second on the on the first on Hosting. And Robertson will go to the free throw line. A freshman averaging 9.6 points a game and shooting 67% from the free throw line. 6-3 Decora, 2.58 to play here in the first quarter. Front rim no on the first free throw from Robertson. Again, Decora here has done a nice job of, of uh, tough defense. Uh, we've been lucky we, they've missed a few shots, but we've got to do a better job of penetrating down here on that on that press that they're putting in that half court uh, kind of a zone. Second free throw up, no good. Adam Hubden, the rebound for Decora in with Tim Meyer, Jonah Johnson, Nick Bachman, and Loudon Rockweiler now for Decora. Johnson skips it over on the far right side to Rockweiler. Loudon for three short, rebound to Robertson for Owain. Robertson up into the front court to our right. Dribbling around between the circle, now picks up his dribble, tried to get it off to Rex, knocked away by Hubden, loose ball taken by Bachman at half court, Bachman drives in and lays it up and in. Excellent play there, excellent play by Hubden. Bachman with his first two, 8-3 to Cora, 2-22 to play first quarter. On the left side, a pull-up jumper is good by Tony Rex. Rex with his first two, 8-5 Vikings, 2-15 to play first quarter. Token pressure in the backcourt for the Huskies. Rockweiler to Bachman, passes across the timeline on the near left wing to Johnson, jump pass to Rockweiler in the lane, went up and got fouled by Tony Rex. Rex will pick up his first, and Rockweiler will go to the free throw line to shoot a couple. 8-5 to Cora, 8.05 to play here in the first quarter. DeCore did a nice job that time of beating down, beating the the, uh, the the defense down the floor, Darren, and they weren't able to get set up. Free throw up and good for Rockweather, who had 20 the first time against DeWine, and he's a 77% free throw shooter. Hubden had a great play earlier. I alluded to that, but then even on the other end here, uh, Bachman used his body to shield the defender and made a nice layup. 
Rockweiler's second free throw up and good. Loudon with his first two. It's a 10-5 lead for the Vikings. Schmelzer in, Rockweiler out with 2.05 to play first quarter. Decor right now is showing a lot of uh, energy, Darren. Rex in the backcourt. Kicks in the center of the floor to Suko. Suko dribbles across the timeline, leaves it near the timeline, left side to Rex. Rex in the left corner to Robertson. Back to Rex. Deep on the left wing, top of the key to Suko on the right wing to Dylan Arndt. Arndt takes a dribble to the right of the circle, goes right side to Rettinger. Rettinger leaves it right of the lane to Rex. Rex at the right block, puts it up and in. He muscled it up and scored against Schindler, and it's a 10-7 lead for Decora. 132 to play here in the first quarter. Bachman passes across the timeline quickly, ahead to Schmelzer on the right side to Hubden. Hubden goes up and scores, and a foul called on O-line. Rettinger going to get the personal. Credit Schmelzer with a really nice play there. Talk about unselfish. Gave the, his own teammate a better shot than what he had. Adam Hubden will go to the free throw line, trying to complete the hat trick. Adam just three for 11 at the free throw line this year, 27%. First and only up, good. Look, All-American right there, Darren. 13-7 to Cora, 122 to play first quarter. Arn pass across the timeline to Rex. Rex right baseline to Rettinger. Rettinger drives to the right block, kicks in the left corner to Suko, but he couldn't handle the pass, and it goes out of bounds. So a turnover on a line number four, four. each team with four to this point. Jonah Johnson will inbound from the far end of the court. Bachman. In the backcourt, double team, jump pass across the timeline to Meyer on the left wing, skips it over right side, Jonah Johnson. Johnson drives to the free throw line, kicks it right baseline to Hubden. Hubden right wing to Bachman, a three is up, long, rebound, Johnson in the lane, takes a dribble, goes back up, misses the shot. Hubden taps the rebound out to Bachman, who retreats to the midcourt area to reset. Bachman on the left side of Meyer, back between the circles to Bachman, 45 seconds left in the quarter, Vikes up six. Jonah Johnson on the right wing, two Bachman between the circles, left side to Blake Schmelzer, a three is up, a three is good. Who is that masked man? I love it. Blake Schmelzer with the trifecta. It's 16, seven to quarter, 30 seconds to play first quarter, Husky ball. Rex passes across the timeline, tried to get it to Suko. It was knocked away, but a foul is gonna be called on Blake Schmelzer. Just got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Yep, that, that was a good try, but no cigar on that baby. But boy, what a nice look on a three there. Well, Blake now on the season is six of 10 from three point range. Goodness gracious, he picks his time to target. 23 seconds left in the quarter, 16 to seven to Cora, a wine ball. Robertson in the left corner to Hunter Logan. Logan driving baseline, gets tripped up and fouled by Adam Hubden. Adam picks up his first team sport, 15 and a half to play first quarter, 16 seven advantage for the Vikings. Cardinal sin, Darren, in basketball, you know it as well as any. Don't let anybody drive the baseline because nothing good happens there. Baseline left, Hunter Logan looking to get it in bounce against the defense of Johnson. Lobs it to the left wing and Robertson, 14 seconds. Robertson steps back, kicks it top of the key to Dylan Arndt. Arndt between the circles, driving left to the lane. Kicks it left baseline to Logan. Logan along the baseline, passes back out to Rex, back to Logan in the corner. Logan with two seconds, now to Rex. And oh, it's not gonna get a shot off. Pretty good defensive sequence there for the Vikings. Well, I think they kind of lost track of the time. 16-7, Decora leads it after one. Let's take a timeout for Hacker Nelson, CPAs and business consultants. Welcome back to Decora. 16-7 uh, lead, Decora after one. We must be misbehaving. We got Mr. Riley sitting next to us. Yeah, he, he helped me officiate tonight. I'll tell you what, he did an outstanding job. Outstanding job. Well, he's always had a strong back. Yep. I, know that. I tell you what, I could just cruise along with him on the watching my back. Uh, at the halftime, or excuse me, at the, after the first quarter, DeCore is shooting him sizzling 54% on 6 of 13. O-line has got 3 of 7, 42%. Hafel, Rex, Arndt, Logan, and Robertson for O-line. It's Bachman, Stock, Rockweather, Hosting, and Schindler for DeCore. Decora ball shooting to our left. Rockweiler on the deep left wing. Left corner to Hosting. Hosting left of the circle to Rockweiler. 
Ten feet outside the arc, he drives towards the left baseline, kicks it back between the circles to Stock. Stock now to Bachman. Bachman resets near the center circle, veers to the right side, passes on the left wing to Rockweather. Rockweather left corner to Hosting, bounce pass underneath the Schindler left block, puts it up and in. Schindler with four, it's 18 to seven. Decora on top, 7.20 to play second quarter. Logan with it on the left side. Logan double team back between the circles to Robertson. Robertson in the right corner towards Arndt, but the bass didn't go, get to him and goes out of bounds. 7-11 to play second quarter. 18-7 the score. And down in O-Wine. O-Wine leading the Decorah girls 12-8 after one. Rockweiler driving right away and put it up off the glass and in, but he traveled before him. 7.03 to play second quarter, 18 to seven, Decora on top. Decora providing the pressure, Logan passes to Robertson, dribbles across the timeline and gets double teamed. Robertson with a jump pass to Rex, Rex in the right corner to Logan. Logan guarded by Stock, picks up his dribble on the right wing, bounce pass along the baseline to Arndt. Arndt driving the baseline, drives to the left block, put up at a layup, it's a brick. Rebound to Schindler for Decora. Now to Bachman, quickly up on the right side to Rockweiler. Shot fake on drive, stepping up to an 18-footer, and he got it. Rockweiler with four, 20-7 Vikings, 6.30 to play, second quarter. Robertson across the timeline to Rex. Rex passes on the near right wing to Arndt. Arndt back between the circles to Logan. Logan veering over to the left wing. Right side to Arndt. Arndt right corner to Rex. Three-pointer up. It's an air ball long. Rebound pulled down by Loudon Rockweiler for the core. Now to Bachman. Bachman fast deflected. Bachman gets it back to Abba Key. He's on the dribble between the circles. Passes on the near left wing to Hosting. Hosting left corner to Stock. Stock going across the lane. Scoops it up and in. Stock with six. The Vikes have scored the first six of the quarter. It's 22-7. Vikings on top. Across the timeline, Robertson, his pass deflected out of bounds. Ooh. And last touch by Sean Schindler. Decora will, or Owen will have it at the Decora bench. Owen got one there because Schindler deflected it off the Owen's uh, player's head. 5.48 to play second quarter, 22-7 the score. Robertson with it between the circles. Passes on the left side to Rex. Rex on the left wing, skips it over to Robertson right side. Right corner to Suko and a timeout is being asked for by Coach Nick Shaw. 5.35 to play here in the second quarter. It's a 30 second timeout. It's a 22-7 lead for the Vikings and so far through uh, eight minutes and 25 seconds, the whole establishing thing that we talked about uh, in pregame, I think it's happened. Coach Absolutely, B. and it, came, it happened because we came out with a lot of energy. Even though uh, Owen had a very good defense against us, we've kind of solved it now. And as the game is progressing, I don't see Owen with near the vigor that they showed earlier. And as a result, there's some openings. i got to credit Stock here. He's made three drive to the basket and caused good things to happen. I think he scored twice and dished off one more time. It's been a good good display. This is Vikings Radio 1240 KDEC to Corin, KDECradio.com. Darren and Larry for Northeast Iowa Conference basketball. It's 22 to 7. The Corin on top. O line ball shooting to our right. Suko at the free throw line to Hafel. Hafel on the right wing to Robertson. Robertson kicks it underneath at the right block to Rex. Rex right of the circle to Robertson. Robertson underneath at the left block towards Rettinger. He'll back out to the high post left. Tried to kick along the baseline to Rex, but he couldn't handle the pass. It goes out of bounds, six turnovers on Owai. And again, credit to defense of Decora. We're really in their face right now, and uh, it, there just aren't a lot of places for the ball to go other than out of bounds. Five-minute mark, second quarter, 22-7. Vikings hosting at three-quarter court. Hosting stop. Bounces across the timeline to Jonah Johnson. Johnson in the right corner, two stock. Stock driving the baseline, puts it up and in. Peyton Stock with eight. Yep, he's got it. Got ants in his pants tonight. He's going for it. 24-7. Decora on top. 4.44 to play second quarter. With it on the right side. Hayful jumper up right side. Good. At the 4.39 mark in the second quarter. The Huskies on the board in this frame. It's 24-9 Decora. 4.30 to play second quarter. Hosting looking across the timeline to Stock. Stock left baseline to Johnson. An 18-footer off the window and in. Jonah with his first two, 26-9 to Cora, 4-18 to play second quarter. 
Rex across the timeline, passes on the near right wing to Robertson. Robertson leaves it on the high post right to Hafel, but Adam Hubden went through him to get the steal. And the foul on Hubden will be his second and the team's fifth. Well, when you do a play like that, you just hope that the official left his glasses in the locker room. And none on the... <laughs> They must have all left their glasses in the locker room because none are wearing them. Great vision here on all three of these guys. Inbounds, it comes to the left block and Hafel. Hafel missed the layup, got the ball back and was fouled on the floor. Foul will be on Brent Schaefer who just checked in. Uh, good way to get your name in the paper, I like it. That's our first offensive rebound for Owen. First on him, sixth on the team. Inbounds comes left corner to Robertson, who takes a three-pointer and scores. 26-12 to Cora. Four-minute mark, second quarter. Johnson with it at right of the circle. Three-pointer, no good. Hubbed in the board, puts it up and in. Adam with five on the night. 28-12 to Cora. 3.49 to play second quarter. Zuko. Hugh Robertson kicks it across the timeline to Logan underneath at the left block to Hafel and he'll put it up off the window and in. Hafel with four, 28-14 to Cora, 3.35 to play second quarter. On the left wing with it is Austin Barth. Barth driving to the left baseline now stops on the left wing with the pass to Meyer. Meyer on the drive in the lane, lost control of the basketball taken away by Robertson for Owine. Robertson up the left side of the floor. He'll put it up off the window, no good. Rebound tapped around, loose, taken by the Huskies on the right wing with Hafel. Bounce pass underneath the Rex at the block, goes across the lane to Robertson, and Robertson went up and got hammered by Schaefer. Schaefer picks up his second, team seventh. Owine gonna shoot free throws for the final 3.09 of the first half. It's 28-14 to Cora. Yeah, there was a kind of a wild sequence there, Darren. And unfortunately, DeCord did not do a very good job of executing and taking care of the basketball. Free throw no good for Robertson, who's 1-0 for 3 at the line. He's a 67 percenter on the season. Second shot coming with 3.09 to play second quarter, 28-14 to Cora. Excuse me, Darren, but, you know, that's kind of what we saw early in the year. We kind of got ourselves into a, a gear that we weren't familiar with, and it didn't work well for us. Second free throw, no good. Rebound to Loudon Rockweather for the Cora. Out of Bachman, passing across the timeline to Rockweather, who's on the dribble right wing, drives to the right block, puts it up off the window and in. Rockweiler with six, 30 to 14 to Cora. 2.54 to play his second quarter. Robertson up the left side of the floor, drives all the way in, puts it up off the glass and in. Robertson with five. Athletic move there, Darren. 30 to 16, that kid's just a freshman too, Larry. To Cora on top. On the right side with it is Rockweather. He puts it on the deck to the right wing. Top of the key to Blake Schmelzer. Blake holds and looks underneath the Schindler all alone lays it up. It's around the rim and good. Schindler with six. 32-16 to Cora. 2.22 to play second quarter. With it on the right block is Dylan Arndt. He'll put up the shot. No good. Rebound pulled down by Schindler for the Cora. Now to Bachman. Bachman pulls up at the left elbow. Leaves it now on the left wing to Rockweather. Rockweather back to Bachman against the Husky zone. He's guarded by Dylan Arndt, and now the Huskies have gone man. Schmelzer has it right wing to Rockweather at the free throw line, put up the shot. No good, and a foul is going to be called on the Huskies. Noel Rettinger knocked down Rockweather on the clear out. Rettinger picks up his second foul on the team's third. But Coral will have it baseline left, up 32-16 with two minutes to play second quarter. Actually, it'll be right in front of us. Yep. Got a good view here, Darren. Yes. One of a few times we actually do have a good angle. Yeah, we do have a good angle. Yep. <laughs> Schmelzer out. Bachman stack. Schindler hosting and Rockweiler in for the Cora. Bachman has it between the circles. Right side to Rockweiler. Between the circles to Bachman. The reset in the midcourt area. Huskies have gone back to the 2-3. Hosting on the left wing, right of the circle to Bachman, right baseline to Rockweather. 
Rockweiler between the circles to Bachman. Back on the right side to Loudon. A three-pointer is up. It's around the rim. No good. Hosting the board. Puts it up and in. Hey, look what I found. That ball fell right in his hands. Good job. Eight players have scored now for DeCora as Hosting gets his first two. 34-16. Vikings minute 25 to play second quarter. Keep it right side with it is Suko. Suko to the free throw line. High on the left to Rex. Rex driving. Kicks it along the baseline to Logan. Logan drives to the right block. Put it up. No good. Rock by the, re the rebound now to Schindler. He's going to go up and score. Schindler now with eight on the night. 36-16. Bikes with their biggest lead. 103 to play second quarter. Arndt with it on the right wing. Right corner to Robertson. Robertson, a bounce pass underneath at the right block to Rex. Rex on the left wing to Hunter Logan. A three-pointer is long. Weak side for Suko. He went up, got it blocked by Rockweather. Pulled down by Bachman. Nick all the way down. Runner from five. Good. Bachman with four. 38-16 Vikings. 38 seconds to play. Quarter number two. Arndt with the basketball across the timeline. Arndt picks up his dribble against Rockweather. Between the circles to Tony Rex. Rex passes on the far left side to Hunter Logan with 23 seconds left in the first half. Logan on the dribble, deep on the left side, guarded by Stock and the man for man. He'll pick up his dribble. He's going to the left corner to Robertson. Robertson takes a couple of dribbles to the left wing. Back in the left corner to Suko. Suko driving left of the lane with five seconds. Goes on the right side to Logan. Logan on the drive of the lane. Put up the runner. Blocked by Stock. He got it back along the baseline. Misses the shot. Stock pulls it down as the half comes to an end. Decor out. Scores Owai 22-9 in the second quarter. And leads it 38-16 here at the halftime break. Let's take a timeout for... Henning Construction, Wellington Place, Decorah Physical Therapy and Rehab, and Hubden Oil. So, nope. Peyton Stack, uh, Sean Schindler, uh, Loudon Rockweiler, Bryce Osting, and Nick Bachman for Decorah. It will be Arndt, Rex, Suko, Robertson, and Rittinger starting the second half for Owain Husky Ball, shooting to our left, trailing by 22. With it on the right side, Dylan Arndt. Arndt guarded by Bachman and the man for man. Between the circles to Robertson. Over on the left wing to Suko. Suko between the circles to Rex. Rex driving to the right block. Puts it up off the window and in. Rex with six to lead on wine now. It's 38-6 or 38-18. The Vikes up by 20. Sephora's first possession of the second half. With Loud and Rockweiler between the circles to hosting. Left side of Stock. Stock jumps underneath the Schindler. Puts it up. No good. Blocked from behind by Suko. And Suko pulled it down as well. Suko up the right side of the floor. Leaves it at the free throw line to Rettinger. Rettinger drives to the right block against Stock. Stock partially deflected the shot. And he pulled it down as well. Now to Bachman for the Cora. Passing on the far left wing to Rockweiler. Rockweiler on the dribble. Retreating to the midcourt area. Stops, passes on the right side to Schindler, now to Hosting in the lane. Hosting between defenders, put up the shot, no good. Ball being pinballed around, taken by Schindler, top of the key. Left corner to Peyton Stock, left wing to Loudon Rockweiler, between the circles to Nick Bachman. Bachman passes on the left wing to Rockweiler, between the circles to Bachman, left corner to Stock. Stock, back top of the key to Rockweiler, on the near right wing to Schindler, now to Hosting underneath, and Hosting beat Rettinger to the spot, and Rettinger will pick up his third person foul and the team's first of the second half back in Tyler Hafel for Owen. And right now uh, Owen came out in that same half court zone 1-2-2 and Decor is beating it by skip passing the ball. 38-18 the Vikes up by 20. Stock left of the lane put up a wild shot no good. Rockweather came out of nowhere and put it up and in. Where'd he come from? Yeah there? I don't know it was great athleticism. 624 to play here in the third. It's 40 to 18. Vikings between the circles with it is Robertson on the right side. Evan Suko. Top of key to Tony Rex. Three-pointer up long. Rebound pulled down by Rockweiler for the Cora. Now to Bachman. Bachman up into the front court. Bachman passes on the near right wing to Hosting. Hosting dumps into the right block, and Rockweiler goes off the window for two. Loudon into double figures with 10 and the lead 24, the biggest of the night for the Cora at 42 to 18. Rex up into the front court for the Cora, passing on the near left wing to Arndt. 
Hart will take a, a dribble. Kicks it back between the circles. Knocked away. Taken away by Bryce Hosting. Hosting goes in. Misses the shot but got fouled from behind by Dom Robertson. Great uh, anticipation there by Bryce. Did a good job of stepping in there, controlling the ball, and then took it hard to the basket. So Hosting will go to the free throw line. He's a 77 percenter on the season. First free throw up and good. And it's a 43 to 18 lead. Adam Hubden in, Sean Schindler out for Decora. 542 to play here in the third. Hosting will have another. The right-handed free throw is no good. Rebound pulled down by Suko for Owain. Suko on the dribble to the front court to our left. Guarded loosely in the midcourt area, and the man-for-man -man by Rockweather sends his man through a double pick right side, drives all the way to the block, put up the shot, no good. Rockweather skies for the rebound. Outlet pass off the body of Hosting, taken by Hovden, now to Bachman. Bachman on the left wing to Rockweather to Bachman. Lob pass hit the backboard. Woofta. And the deflection goes to Robertson, who lost control of his dribble, got his back, tried to skip it in the corner, and it's intercepted by Bachman for Decora. Bachman a bounce pass towards Rockweiler. Rockweiler runs it down in the left corner. Rockweiler to the left wing and hosting. Now to stock high on the left, turn around, shot in the lane, good. Hey, 10 uh, points for uh, Peyton Stock. I tell you, Peyton Stock is showing us a lot of different shot selection, and they're all going in tonight. And uh, Owine will call a full timeout, 45-18. Vikings lead it with six, or with 4.50 to play here in the third. Let's take a break for Rockweiler Appliance and TV. Also hearing from fine sponsor, Burning Rock Products in that break. Owine out of the timeout, three-pointer top of the key from Rex. His left short, Rex got it back on the left wing. Dribbles to the left corner, skips it over right wing to Suko. Top of the key to Logan, a three is up and a three is good. Logan with his first points of the night, 45-21. The score to Cora up by 24. Johnson in the right corner, left side of Meyer. Meyer on the runner in the lane, put it up off the window for two. And another timeout is asked for by Nick Schaaf with 4.10 to play here in the third quarter. It's 47 to 21 to Cora on top. It'll be a 30. And I tell you what, that was shades of Herman there, flying through the air, hanging in the air like that. It was awesome. But enough about his football officiating. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We've been very negligent. Oh, my we, goodness. We have not said hello to Ruth tonight. I know well, she's listening again. And not to give us an excuse, hello, Ruth Price. Yep. But it's it's only 8.30. There's been games we, where you haven't tipped off till 8.30. That's and we're true. in the middle of the third quarter. That's true. And, you know, and you know, uh, Ruth's bedtime uh, probably isn't 8.30, I'm guessing. No, no. So. Uh, you know what? Five planets lined up in the morning. Get out and look at them. Ball deflected on the pass from Arn, taken away by Adam Hovden. Hovden now to Hosting, goes in the right corner to Tim Meyer. A three is up, long, rebound pulled down by the Huskies in the person of Dylan Arn. Arn now to Hunter Logan. Logan bearing up out of the front court. The Tony Rex between the circles, left side to Suko. Top of the key to Hunter Logan. Logan passes on the right side. Now back top of the key to Rex, left side to Arndt. Arndt driving left the lane, stopped there by Meyer. Kicks it deep on the right side to Hunter Logan. Hunt for Logan, right wing to Evan Suko. Between the circles to Dylan Arndt. Arndt passes on the left wing to Tony Rex. Rex between the circles to Logan. And a foul is going to be called on Rice Hosting. Hosting picks up his first, team's first of the second half. 3.20 to play in the third. 47-21. Vikings on top. Boy, we've got some skitter bugs on the floor right now. It's hard to get a pass by him. We'll see if Owain can provide the repellent here. Right Ooh. side with it is Logan. Logan on the dribble into the lane and a reaching foul called on Decora. Second foul of the half on the Vikings and the personal will go against Tim Meyer. Meyer is first, 308 to play in the third, 47-21. Vikings with the lead. They've outscored Owain 9-5 in this quarter, outscored him 22-9 in the second quarter and 16-7 in the first quarter. A layup by Hafel from the right block, no good. Brent Schaefer the rebound for the quarter. 
Gabriel to Hostin, Hostin driving right of the lane, pull-up jumper from 15, good. A free throw on extended jumper for Bryce Hosting, and he's got five. 49-21, now the biggest lead of the game for Decor. And Schaefer with the knock away and the steal on the far side for Decor. And out of Meyer. Meyer to Hosting, Tavaki, right side, Schmelzer. He's open for three, and he buries it. Blake Schmelzer now seven for 11 from three-point range this year. That's pretty good, Darren. Hashtag analysis. <laughs> 52, 30, or 21. Decor on top, 220 to play here in the third quarter. Aren't with it along the left baseline. A turnaround shot raises the front rim. Rebound pulled down by a hosting for Decor. 210 to play here in the third. Two, a 31 point lead for Decor. Meyer with it in the left corner. Meyer. Driving to the free throw line, driving all the way. The block lost control, the dribble and goes out of bounds. I don't know where, I he, think he, where he was headed, but he found trouble. He, he ran into about uh, five guys, perhaps four of them teammates. <laughs> and I like the idea, though, you know, yes. going to the basket. But Got to have somewhat of a plan. Up into the front court. On the left side with it is Noah Rettinger. Top of key to Robertson underneath at the right block to Rettinger. Rettinger's layup no good. Meyer with the rebound for the Coral with 100 seconds to play here in the third. Johnson on the drive into the lane. Put it up off the window and in. Jonah Johnson with four. 54-21, Decora on top, 125 to play here in the third. This has kind of become shake and bake time here. Robertson driving right baseline against Schaefer. Behind the back dribble, now a pass top of the key to Rettinger on the left wing to Suko. Bounce pass top of the key to Rex. Rex on the drive right of the lane, and he was bumped on the way in by Tim Meyer. Tim personal number two, team foul number three. 11 to play in the third. Giving Coach Carlson a great opportunity to play some different fellows here in uh, quality minutes. I would I hate I can't say that the game hasn't been decided, but still they're getting to play quality minutes. Rettinger on the right wing, Rettinger on the drive of the lane, gets bumped into and fouled by Blake Schmelzer. Blake picks up his second and the team's fourth. 106 to play here in the third, 54-21 to Cora. Whoever gets the ball right now is just putting their head down and going to the basket. Both ways. 16-5, the Vikings with the lead. In bounce, it comes from Roberts into Hafel. Hafel puts it up from the left block for two. Nice out-of-bounds play by Owen. Six points for Hafel, 54-23 to Cora on top. 55 seconds to play in the third. Austin Barth passes to the right wing and Schmelzer. Left of the circle to Johnson, a three-pointer up, got it! Jonah Johnson with seven. 57-23 to Cora, 40 seconds to play here in the third. Up to the front court comes Evan Suko on the right wing. Top of key to Rettinger, near left wing to Robertson. Left baseline to Suko, turn around, shot up and good. Suko with his first two of the night, 50. 7.25, the core up 32, 20 seconds to play here in the third quarter. Barth right corner to Schmelzer. Schmelzer top of the key to Jonah Johnson, a three is up, it does not fall, rebound Schaefer, he puts it up and in. Schaefer with his first two. 59-25, three seconds, two seconds. Robertson driving right of the lane, put it up around the rim and good and they're gonna count it. Robertson makes the runner at the horn. He's got seven, and it'll be 59-27 to Cora as we go to the fourth quarter. And let's hear from Vicks Heating and Plumbing and Plan One Financial. Decor continues to shoot 60%, Darren, for the for the for the three quarters. Owens up to 40%. Jonah Johnson on the drive of the lane, finger roll up and good. Jonah Johnson with nine points off the bench for the chorus, 61-27. Vikings, Rex on the right side, goes in the right corner to Suko. Back right of the circle to Rex, a three-pointer is up off the mark. Rebound taken by Suko at the block, puts it up and in. Suko now with four, 61-29. Decora up 32, 7.30 to play here in the fourth quarter. Dave Varney, right corner to Blake Schmelzer. A three-pointer is up. Hey, he missed one. He's human. Rebound pulled down 
by Robertson for a one. He's a mere seven for 12 from three point range right now on the season. Top of key, Arndt, Arndt to Succo, left block underneath. At the left block to Rettinger and he'll miss the layup. Rebound pulled down by Johnson. Bikes up 32. They led 16-9 at the end of the first quarter. 38-16 at the halftime break. Turnaround by Barney and no, no good. Rebound taken by Suko. Left side with it is Robertson. Robertson bounce pass left of the lane to Suko. Suko right side to Rex. Rex along the baseline and Schaefer fouls Rettinger, but Rettinger muscles one up and scores and has a chance at three-point play. Schaefer with his third foul, so. Schaefer with his third foul, team's fifth. Rettinger to the free throw line, 65% free throw shooting. We've seen it before, the old line coach is gonna get himself a technical here if he doesn't relax and coach. Well, when you're down 30, it's a hell of a lot more than the refs. <laughs> free throw, no good, rebound down to Meyer, but sometimes frustration gets the best of him. Hosting has it left of the lane, top of the key to Schmelzer, Schmelzer. Lot pass underneath the hub down to the right block. He hurts, he jerks the shot up and in. Adams really become more skilled as the season has gone by on the offensive end, hasn't he? Well, he brings some physicality in there. He's shooting well tonight. 63-31, bikes up by 32. Robertson goes in and misses the shot. They're gonna rule it a tie ball. Schmelzer and Hosting both got ball on the block. The alternating possession will go to O'Wine. 6-11 to play here in the fourth, 63-31 the score. There's a lot of talented uh, young players in the league this year, Darren. Evan Suko will play it baseline right. Suko throws it to nobody in particular, trying to save it for the Huskies was Arndt. He couldn't do it, and DeCora will play it at the bench. That's the 11th turnover on O-Wine. DeCora is uh, stuck at eight. Good place, good category to be stuck at, you correct? Bet. <laughs> Inbounds it comes towards Nick Bachman and the ball punched out of bounds by Dylan Arndt. So on the far end of the floor, Tim Meyer will look to get it inbounds. Husky's going to press and a holding foul is going to be called on Owine on Dylan Arndt. Arndt will pick up his first, team's third. Meyer will look to get it in bounce, does so to Bachman at three-quarter court. Bachman left baseline to give Varney a jumper is up, no good. Tap up and in, one-handed by Bryce Hosting. He's got seven, 65-31. Vikings, 5.55 to play here in the fourth quarter. Lot pass underneath the left block by Rettinger, knocked away, taken away by Bryce Hosting for the core. Hosting passing across the timeline to Bachman. Bachman driving right baseline, right of the circle to Hosting. Hosting on the drive, right of the lane, right wing to Bachman. A three pointer is up off the side of the rim. The rebound pulled down by Rex for a wine. Rex brings it up into the front court, passes on the near left wing to Arndt. Arndt between the circles to Hunter Logan on the right side to Suko. Suko goes to Abaki to Rex. Three pointer up, got it. Rex with nine. 65-34, 31 point lead for Decora. Hosting with it on the left side, a three pointer is up, no good. Hubden taps the rebound out, but pushes a couple of people in the process. Adam picks up his first team six, 5-10 to play here in the fourth quarter. It is a 65 to 34 lead for Decora. It's basically been all Vikings all night. Yep, and uh, you know, I, I don't like right now that we're just everybody that gets the ball shooting a three. Make that extra pass, we'll get a layup. Up into the front court comes Owine. Top of key with it is Arndt. Arndt dribbles to the high post left, back between the circles to Tony Rex. End of three in the girls game. The girls leading Owine 36 to 32. Driving to the right block is Rex. Rex goes to the left corner and Suko, a three-pointer up. It dances out, rebound pulled down by Meyer. Quickly ahead to Schmelzer, lays it up and in. That was pretty. Beautiful play. Schmelzer with eight. And it's 67-34 to quarter with 4.33 to play here in the fourth quarter. Suko with it on the left wing. Back between the circles to Dylan Arndt. Passes on the far right side to Hunter Logan. 
Logan underneath the Suko. It's a block. Went up. Had her shot partially deflected by Meyer. And Meyer gets the carom as well. Meyer up into the front court for Decora. Driving right of the lane. Right corner to Austin Barth. Barth to the right wing. Right corner to Meyer. A three is up. It dances out. The rebound pulled down by Owine. Rettinger got it. Rettinger will walk up into the front court to our left with four minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Suko around a double pick, drives us all the way to the right block, puts it up off the window for two. Suko on the night with six, all coming here in the second half, 67-31, or 67-36, a 31-point lead for the Cora. Smells her right baseline to Varney, right of the circle to Johnson. Passes on the left wing to Meyer. Meyer kicks it right baseline to Varney. Varney right of the circle to Schmelzer. A three is up, a three is good. Well, he's back on, a, back on his pace again, Darren. 11-point night for Blake Schmelzer. And it's 70 to 36. Decora leading O-line with 3.13 to play in the game. Rex with the top of the key, three-pointer up and good. Tony Rex has a 12-point night for the Huskies. 70 to 39 with three minutes to play. Smells are on the right wing, right corner to Barth. Barth on the right wing to Johnson. Top of the key to Schmelzer. Three is up. Three is good. Schmel. <laughs> he has, you weren't kidding. He has no fear. Schmelzer with 14 points on the night and 73 to 39 Vikings with 240 remaining in the game. Top of the key, Hunter Logan on the right side to Arndt. Arndt right baseline to Suko. Gets it across the lane to Rettinger. Tried to herky dirt the shot up, no good. Rebound to Tim Meyer. Meyer driving into the lane, drives all the way to the right block. Went up, had a shot blocked by Suko. Got it back, left baseline to Barney. Left to the circle to Johnson. Left corner to Schmelzer. Left to the key to Meyer. A three-pointer is <laughs> up, it's off the back iron. Rebound pulled down by Owen. Rettinger will dribble up into the front court with 2.07 to play here in the ball game. Left corner to Hunter, top of key to Arndt. Arndt underneath the right block to Rettinger, put up the shot, no good, and the ball will go out of bounds, and Decora will have it. New players coming in for Decora. Pino Michi coming in, also Eric Smithrud coming in. Varney will stay. Well, Nick Varney left. Varney left. Varney left. Uh, Nick Woosley is in. Austin Barth is in. Devin Brevig is in. And I think we got them all. Yeah. Barth tried to get him in to Woosley, and the ball will go out of bounds with a minute 50 to play in the game. 73-39, the Vikings with the lead. Wine in there. They have Nick Stacy in the game. Also have Hunter Smock in the game. Jacob Sweeney is in the game. Spencer Ohl is in the game as well, and Ohl goes up and misses the shot, but he was fouled by Devin Brevik. That's your way. Get your name in a book. I love it. If you're going to get on the floor, do something. <laughs> 135 remaining in the game, 73 39, the Vikings with the advantage. First free throw up and good. My the first free throw make of the night for the Huskies. They're one of six. My nickname was not Hatchet for anything. Because you were a good hunter with a knife, right? Right. On and off the court, right? Free throw up, free throw good for Ool. He's got two points on the night. 73 41 with 1.30 remaining in the game. Austin Barth driving left to the lane, puts up a runner from eight, no good. Kino got the board, lost control of it, it goes out of bounds, and Decora will play it. Kino came out of nowhere there. Kino's a good, he's got good leaps. He can get up in the air. Barth with a fit on the left wing. 73 41 Decora. 1.20 remaining in the game, and a shot taken a drive, but Eric Smith would, uh, Dragged a couple of pivot foot there, or I guess two two foot would be a feet, right? Yeah. Um, less than a yard. That's true. Get about five thousand. Two hundred and fifty-eight more. You have a mile. Well, 
That, that type of uh, grammar, Ruth uh, Price probably turned off the radio. I apologize, Ruth. Underneath at the right block, uh, a foul is called as uh, Tyler uh, Hafel will go to the free throw line. And Mr. Woosley got his name in the book. I love it, I love it. Woosley gets the foul. Some of these guys are learning the trick of the trade. Jared Opperman will come in for the shooter should the second one go. April at the free throw line miss, misses the first one. 103 to play, 73-41 to Cora. And Spencer Ole will come in for the Huskies as well. So, 73-41. Vikings is going to eliminate the three-game schneid that they were on. Second free throw, no good. Rebound being fought for. Taken by Ewens. Ewens put up the shot, no good. Hafel got the board, and Tino fouled him. Tino picks up his first. Way to go, Tino. The team's next. These guys are doing, they're on, right on schedule here. I love it. You've been subbing uh, with a few of these guys uh, the last few days here. Yep, here. I've been trying to kind of give them a couple pointers. 58 seconds to play. We've got to get Smeds on the go here now. Hafel with the one and one first free throw up and good. This poor kid here, he's not going to get to play. Opperman will go if the second one goes. Free throw up. Dances out, no good. Rebound down to Varney for Ol for Decora. 52 seconds remaining. As Decora. Leads by a 73-42 margin. Pino tried to save it in bounds. And a steal here for Nick Stacy. And a timeout going to be asked for by Nick Shaw. He must have known we had one break remaining, so he co cooperates with the media. Let's take a break for Wicks Construction. Mr. Woosley picks up a foul on the uh, inbounds, and Nick Stacy will go to the free throw line to shoot a couple. 41 seconds remaining, 73 to 42. I don't think they've shot free throws very well tonight, have they, Darren? They have not. They are three of 13. Second free throw, no good. Rebound to Opperman, put it up, no good. Tino gets the board for the Vikings, 33 seconds remaining to Woosley in the corner. A three-pointer is up, it's long. Rebound taken on the far side. Brevig out to Smedrud for a three, no good. Rebound pulled down by the Huskies. 22 seconds remaining, a 73 to 42 lead for Decora. Stacy with it on the near side. Stacy gonna take a 20-footer and bury it. Stacy with his first two. Five seconds, and Barney will dribble up into the front court. Barney leaves that free throw line to Smedrud. The jumper is up no good, and that's that. 73 to 44. The Vikings get a big win tonight over the O-Wine Huskies. Scoring on the night for Dickora. Blake Schmelzer led the way off the bench with 14 points. Loudon Rockweiler with 12. Peyton Stock with 10. Nine points for Nick Bachman. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, eight points for Sean Schindler. Seven points for Br Bryce Hosting. Seven points for Adam Hovden. Nine points for Jonah Jansen on the night. Four points for Nick Bachman. Two for Tim Meyer. And two points for Brent Schaefer. For Owine tonight, 12 points on the night for Tony Rex, 7 points for Dom Robertson, 6 points for Evan Succo, 5 for Noah Rettinger, 4 for Dylan Arndt, 3 points for Hayful, 3 points for Hunter, and 2 points for Nick Stacy. DeCora was 4 of 5 at the free throw line, and Owine was 3 for 13.